seen it. Thinking I will never see my grandmother. What you do that? You can met him. At this point, I feel like I want to talk more of what's going to transpire next week than what has actually transpired this week when it comes to war. Like, Biggie is back. Biggie is back. The picture. There's actually a new woman now who I think has a fling or has something to do with Wura's husband, that's Mr. Deliki or Commissioner Deliki, and it's quite surprising. Jeje's mother is also back in the picture. We also have um, Mide's mother being back. Then we are seeing lots of protests and lots of shooting going on next week. Like, I want to dissect that next week's episode. Like, this week's episode was just there. I don't know why I'm super excited of what I'm seeing for next week. I think that's because I'm really tired of Wura. Wura has actually dragged for so long. Like, they've actually dragged this show for so long. Like, it shouldn't be this long. But I get what they're trying to do. I try, I'm trying to understand its business as well. So, I really understand. But I'm happy. At least the show is coming to an end very soon. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're staying safe. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell button, and also let me know in the comment section what you think about my review for this week. So, this week had, sure, this week, as I've said before, they're just trying to drag so many things. So, we see Kane Sola still trying to plot way of bringing down her stepmother. We also see her stepmother, we are also trying to bring down. Um, her stepdaughter which is Kainsala so this thing has just been going on and then the latest of it is Kainsala trying to set up her her stepmother basically what she did is she and um Fola who is actually the guy that came out of prison who co-owns um the front mine were actually trying to see how they can get proof of Fola being the rightful owner of the mine bear in mind that Kainsala is actually doing all of this to bring down her stepmother because she that is Wura did not allow her dad come to attend the funeral of her mother in question but what i'm now saying for what's going to happen next week i'm thinking i don't know i don't want to jump too fast but it seems this person's mother is still alive because this new fling that i'm seeing that has to do with um commissioner Deliki, i don't know let me not just jump too far let's concentrate on today's on this week's episode so Kaisala is not happy that the stepmother did not allow um, her father to come to her mother's burial and all of that. Although she still has other things that she has against um, Wura. So the two of them, that is Kaisala and Fola, have actually been plotting on how to bring Wura down and all of that. So it came to a point that Kaisala decided to go, you know what, this is a full-blown war. If it has to do with death, if Wura could actually trying to kill her then she's actually going for Wura. so she brought up that whole conversation with Fola saying oh see this is my plan right now because Wura, Wura has actually drawn the line it's actually a life or death situation now and i'm going for death like i'm going for war final war but Fola is not having any of that Fola is saying oh no that he wants revenge but he wants it done in the right so he doesn't want to kill anybody he wants to take everything to the law enforcement agency and all of that and this brings about a division between Fola and um, Kainsola. So Fola had to just leave the house because of that. But before Fola left the house, what actually broke the camel's back is when Kainsola decided to take it a step further. So Kainsola actually went to Wura's office and planted a snake. <laughs> when I actually saw that, I was like, Kainsola, are you this? Like, it was very creative of her, but at the same time, I'm like, this girl, she actually means business. So, Kensal actually planted a snake in Wura's office and actually seized all the network that goes to Wura's office. So, what she did is that she locked Wura in her office when it was closed of work. So, she couldn't have access out of the office and everybody had gone home. Then, she seized the network in the office. So, Wura could not even call out. Even her walking talkie could not even call out. Then, Kensal now decides to... Um, no, when Gura was trying to call through the walking talkie, Kensala now picked and I said, Oh, stepmother, how are you? Hope you're fine. And now tries to like 
ruffle her up like i know what you've been doing and all of that and all of that and all of that then the next thing is that case announces oh i have a gift for you check your drawer there's actually a gift there for you and then we now goes to the drawer she opens her drawer sees the carton there opens the carton and guess what she now says <laughs> she now says that there's a snake a live snake actually in that carton <laughs> Mommy, you're not sorry. But you will be sorry. So the snakes, the snake, it was just one snake. The snake starts rolling or crawling towards Bora's direction. See, um, yes, I know it's a show, I know all of that, but okay, I don't really know anything about Animal Kingdom per se, but the way Bora was screaming and all of that. I was thinking that's going to aggravate, aggravate the snake's um, mood and then just attack Wora and like that. But the snake was just crawling gently like it was, the snake was crawling like it was at peace with the environment the snake was at. Like it didn't even try to attack Wora. Wora was just screaming. Wora was just crying for help, saying, oh, okay, so I'm sorry about that and all that. The snake was just crawling on its own gently like this one, I think you're disturbing me. I think this is not your space. Just leave. Like, the snake did not even seem like it was trying to harm Wura. I know snakes, once they perceive that you're trying to harm them, they try to attack first. But this one, it was none of such. Then the next thing is that we now see Wura go to her shelf and brings out a small knife, like a small knife, <coughs> a small knife, and then now stabs the snake. And that's how the snake died. So how did Wura actually leave that office is what we do not know. Because bear in mind that Kainsola had actually locked her inside the office so how did that happen we do not know Kensola that was on the call all along why did she not know that um the mother had actually killed the snake we'll just assume it's just a film right so let's just get ourselves entertained yes there are so many question marks that in my head are like this scene it shouldn't have been like this shouldn't have been like that but we know that nothing is perfect so we we'll just allow it to be i'm just enjoying myself i'm just being entertained after all so um when Kenisola came back she now told for that oh for should go and get a suit that they're going to He's going to be mourning Bora and all that. So why he was still ha she was still having a conversation with Fola. We now see Bora actually driving in, and then Bora now throws the things that I think maybe the snake or whatever her properties that through cancel large property and says, "See, you, you forgot this in the office." And Kensal was actually shocked that Bora is still alive. By head, I like based on the question I've asked before, you on the call almost all true. So why didn't you know that she was dead? I mean, the snake was there. That she killed the snake. Why didn't you know all of that? She just came home and said, rejoicing that, oh, Bora is dead. Well, we'll skip. The next thing again is that we're now seeing Bora being so, like, she's on calm. She's not, she's, she's on, she, she's not, she's not steady, steady right now. Like, she's trying every means to see what she can do to cancel her, to bring her down. Then when we're having breakfast, lunch, or that beating, I don't know which of them she are. <laughs> You think your little brat can scare me? I deal with greedy business partners and competitors. Then the next thing is that and they're having a conversation while they were having it in and then we run now says, Oh, um Kensala can actually help me with the whole dishes and all that. Kensala now stood up, carried the dishes, I was going to the kitchen. And then we see Wura take up a fork or a knife, I don't even know which one, and now moves close to Kensola and now places it on her neck and say, if you dare try me, if you do so, 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 so. See, my head are like, I don't understand. My father is here. Like, I am just a few steps away from my father and you had the audacity to put the knife or a fork to my neck. See, I will shout. I will shout, no matter what how wants to happen. As far as I know that people are there, I will say, mommy, what are you trying to do? Why are you putting the fuck to my knife, to my throat, and all of that? Even though I know it's very difficult for people to believe, but at least let me run know that I can always do anything. Like, because I feel like Kensila is actually intimidated when she says Bura. And who will not be? Because Bura has so many forces. Bura has the money, Bura has the power, Bura has the connections, and all of that. So I understand where Kensila is coming at the same time, but at the same time, when I know that my father is there, <laughs> close by, <laughs> why would I be afraid? I will shout there and there. And then that was how um, Kensila 
kind of calm down and then we now see we were trying to intimidate her trying to suppress her and i think kensela was actually agreeing to that suppression bear in mind now that kensela is walking alone because fola has left the house fola is like i'm not going the violent route i want everything to be peaceful i want to just make everything legal and all of that so fola has gone so i don't know next week we'll see what will transpire i'm not super excited about next week then coming to paulina and um it's just that Paulina's crew, that is Paulina, Midi, Tumini, and all of that. So right now, the most important thing that happened this week in regards to that crew is that Fola, the person Fola was, the person Fola was accused of killing is actually um, Paulina's father. So now we now see Fola. Be a Fola all along has been trying to say, okay, he has to go to the people's family and apologize to them and tell them that he's not the one that killed them. Basically, trying to make amends of all that has happened. So he now goes to Paulina's bar. That same that day he went to Paulina's bar was actually Paulina's birthday, which is actually wrong timing. But I'm sure he did not know that was Paulina's birthday. So Paulina was celebrating her birthday and all that. And then Fola just comes in. Paulina recognized him immediately and just flayed up like, "What are you doing here? You killed my father." you did all of that and all of that which i understand paulina very well like yes this case went through court i know paulina might not want to hear anything because once court has even a ruling like it's, it's a different thing like you were not there but she was present during all the court rulings and all of that and they found him guilty of killing um her father so she has to believe that this guy killed my father so what exactly are you doing here what are you going to tell me so she now sends the guy out Next thing is that I've seen Fola go to meet um, Auntie Labake. Explain to Auntie Labake that I see you. The person's family that I was accused of killing is actually Paulina's um, family. So Auntie Labake now goes ahead, the good woman, <laughs> now goes ahead to talk to Paulina, say, oh, please give um, Fola a chance, learn to forgive and all of that. Even when her own son was killed, um, what's the son's name again? Was killed. Femi of I think Femi yes. When Femi was killed, she had to forgive and all of that. Let go. Paulina is not even having any of that. Like you cannot come to my bar and tell me what to do and what not to do. It's quite exciting to see what's going on, but I cannot just wait for Wora to end. At this point in time, I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired of watching Wora. Like there's nothing new they're showing us. So I think it's time they call it. They put an end to it at this point in time. My honest opinion i feel that you put an end to it so let me know in the comment section what you think about next week like is it the end even though i even had the audacity to challenge her husband i don't know i don't know how it's going to turn out but at the end of the day we'll see we're here we'll be so watch it so i'll be here to give you a review on next week's episodes so if you just subscribed yet please kindly subscribe hit the bell button so you can find whenever i make a post i'll see you in my next video and bye